Historically, people of different faiths have not felt welcome if they were gay or lesbian, bisexual or transgender in mainstream religious congregations. I've heard story after story uh, of families being torn apart by um, churches that have preached hatred basically from the pulpit. It has actually pitted father against son. It has pitted mother against daughter. Um, our stand on the LGBT issue has broken families apart. For some pastors to put this aside and say, I'm not going to talk about it because it's too controversial, is, is really not living out one's pastoral duty and authority because there are people in the pews who are hurting deeply because of the stances our churches are taking around LGBT issues. To be a religious person in the U.S. means you're the religious right and you're very conservative. That's not the case. There's a lot of us who are progressive and we don't believe in that really hateful dogma. I think religious leaders need to open their doors wide to include people from a variety of perspectives. We often learn so much from our differences and from our diverse opinions and ideas, and we have a responsibility if, if we want to go and heal the world and make things better. Sit down and have a conversation with someone that you may perceive different from you. Get to know them on an individual basis, and you'll be surprised to see just how similar and how alike your experiences are. There's just so much challenge that comes from assuming anything about the person sitting next to you. Really the, the way to go is to ask.